today on Deep Dive, we're going to be looking at Marvel Comics Special Marvel Edition number 15. Who is this human weapon known as Shang-Chi? Let's dive into today's issue and find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to my Deep Dive series. This special edition is the first appearance of Shang-Chi, the master of martial arts and son of the evil Fu Manchu. Even though these can be viewed on your phone or computer, Try casting it onto your TV so you can really see the detail and quality of the book. There's some great artwork and detail within this issue, so feel free to pause the video and study the pages. If you enjoy these types of videos and want to see more content like it, check out some of my other deep dives. I've covered issues like West Coast Avengers number 4, Iron Man number 1, Captain America number 101, and Fantastic Four number 16, featuring an incredible shrinking adventure against Doctor Doom. For a complete list of my videos, visit the organized playlist on my channel. I post new comics each week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another issue. Special Marvel Edition number 15 was published in December of 1973. Editor-in-chief was Roy Thomas, cover artists were Jim Starlin and Al Milgram. The story titled Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, was written and colored by Steve Englehart, penciled by Jim Starlin, inked by Al Milgram, and lettered by Tom Orzakowski. The book consists of 36 pages with a cover price of 20 cents. Our story opens as Shang-Chi challenges five fighters on his way to Fu Manchu's inner sanctum. Fu Manchu sends Shang-Chi to England with orders to assassinate a Dr. Petri. Shang-Chi is told that the Doctor is evil and it would be for the common good. Shang-Chi reluctantly agrees and travels to England. After the mission is complete, he is confronted by Sir Denise Nayland Smith, a former British intelligence officer who tells him the truth about Fu Manchu, that he is a nearly immortal evil mastermind. Shang-Chi, now conflicted, travels back to meet with his father and faces a series of fighters along the way. Some of the advertising found in this issue is Roach Studios iron-on t-shirt transfers, the boy's application to sell grit, Corgi's Formula One racer collection, a full-page ad for the North American School of Drafting, an order form for a conservation career kit, and Hallmark Minting Service is selling a genuine Spider-Man medallion coin, the treasure you've been waiting for. In the bullpen section, there is a brief obituary for Marvel artist Sid Shores, next to the ad for the Marvel fan club Foom, or as it's called, Friends of Old Marvel. Once through the fighters, he confronts Fu Manchu and renounces him, leaving his father's inner sanctum. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive. If there's a particular issue or comic you'd like me to flip, Drop it down in the comments section and I'll see if I can add it to my bull box. If you enjoy these types of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. As always, please consider liking and feel free to share this video. And until next time, deep divers, thanks for watching.